Hello, it's Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studio. We're going to take a look at the four-stage envelope. Now, this is uh, one of many modulators, and we are actually going to go over the modulators. Uh, we're going to do series on the modulators. Uh, we're going to start out, we're going to talk about the four-stage envelope. This is a very curious modulator to me, just mainly because it seems a little unfinished. It seems to have a lot of potential, and I'm uh, pretty amused by it. Uh, but as far as uh, its functionality and what's going on with it, I'm a little confused. So here we have an oscilloscope. Let's go ahead and uh, pop a four-stage envelope in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, modulate this uh, offset. And another thing, you'll see this little arrow here. I don't like the little arrow because you can click anywhere on here. It'll open up. You don't have to click the little arrow. And so uh, anywhere in the modulator window opens it up. Why well, I don't like that little arrow is if you go in here to the vector 8, now you got that little arrow and it's impeding one of the eight vectors where all you need to do is just click it and it opens up. So that little arrow needs to go away. I don't really like it. Now, once you have a modulator set up, you can actually right click and deactivate it by clicking here. You can see it uh, grays it out. And also, if you have a uh, modulator open, that uh, up here in your, your menu, your uh, modulator tab will actually pop up, and you can deactivate it from there as well. And you have a modulator menu, which the only option is to activate, deactivate. And I have that uh, thumbtacked. That way, if I ever have a modulator open, I have the option to uh, disable it from up here as opposed to... And you can, of course, right-click it and uh, do that uh, through here as well. Just right-click and activate, deactivate. Um, and then also you can cut, copy, paste, duplicate, delete, all that stuff. Just a right-click away. So as you can see, we have the DC offset. And uh, you can see that the oscilloscope is reflecting exactly the envelope, which is great. Now you'll also see that I only have three of the four... Um, stages. Let's go ahead and uh, click on stage number four. And if you give that a little bit of a peek there, you'll see that's going to affect the uh, oscilloscope, and then you're going to get that pop. The pop is because if it ever goes from anything to zero instantly, you're going to end up with a pop. So I also recommend uh, putting something like that, and then uh, you just don't want to have a drop-off. You always want to have the dots connect on the same level. In other words, if this is zero and this is 100%, you don't want to just drop it at 80%. You know, you want to uh, steer it so it's a continuous loop as far as your envelope goes. Now, something you can do down here is uh, the orange bars between the numbers. You can curve the envelope like so. Okay, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so they're curvable. You can curve those, make them curvy. Of course, you can reflect here. Um, so double click it, resets it to the default value. Now, something that I don't really understand about the four stage envelope is this section down here. You have this double arrow, and I don't really know. That doesn't seem to do anything. These numbers here don't seem to do anything. And then this loop marker doesn't seem to do anything. Um, this percentage here is 0 to 100%. So that makes sense to me. Uh, of course, you know, that's 0 is, you know, at the bottom. And then 100% is full. And then, of course, you have your unipolar. If you click here, it'll go minus 100 to plus 100. So it's unipolar at that point. And so that makes perfect sense to me. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then each one, of course, has a percentage. But then these numbers down here represent how long the envelope is. Now, I did some uh, math, and I figured out that this, this 10, this arbitrary 10, represents 10 seconds. So what is confusing to me is um, this little magnifying glass. If I click it, now you can see, you know, from... 
zero to one. But now if I increase stage two, stage three, stage four, these are all 10 seconds. So this is basically a 40 second envelope. But if I click this magnifying glass, there's no way to see the entire envelope. In other words, it only goes, this scope only spans 10 seconds. Now, what would make sense is if you click the arrows here, if it would go to the next stage, like if I clicked here and it would go stage one to two and then click stage two to three, click stage three to four, or if you click the number, it would show that stage, but none of that seems to uh, to work. <clears throat> and so that's pretty confusing to me. And another thing that's confusing to me is this uh, this note icon. Provide envelope times in beats instead of seconds. That to me is is confusing because this is the same the same uh, time measurement of seconds. So that didn't change anything. Now here, provide envelope times in seconds instead of beats, um, which is what we were looking at before. In other words, these don't change anything. Now if I clicked here and then I got a 16th, a 32nd, or a 2-1, or you know, two, two bars, or something, something that's a, and so that doesn't seem to, to, to really function. So basically what I'm getting at is the four stage envelope, which I think has a huge amount of potential, is seems a little unfinished. Now I know there's updates coming up and you know that's part of the whole update plan but but this particular uh, modulator in my opinion does not seem finished. There's a lot of uh, things like this loop marker it doesn't serve a function. Now this thing automatically loops you know and then you can of course <coughs> lower this down so it's just one stage and then this yellow marker here, that affects your, your time there, so that's pretty cool. You know, so you can put it down to... Now right here, you'll see on the far right here, there's a double arrow, which I guess inverts it. I don't really know what that double arrow does. It basically lowers it down to negative 100. But this basically affects the sensitivity of the envelope. So you can see the envelope is, is not having quite as much effect on the DC here. And if you increase this, it, uh, it does there. But again, that's the four stage envelope. Um, very useful tool, but like I say, it seems like it's kind of half finished. It seems like there's a lot of things that that aren't yet functioning. One of the main things is I would like to see all four stages of the envelope in this graph. Let's say for example, uh, all these were set at 10 seconds. There's a 40 second envelope. But see, uh, I wish I could hit this and it would show all 40 second span maxed out envelope. I'm fine with a 10 second envelope. And I'm fine with, but but the fact that you, you click on the uh, the note and you, you still get the uh, the same values, so. Anyway, it seems a little incomplete. Um, that's that's my little four-stage rant. Um, we're going to actually go through all the modulators. Uh, we're going to start a series on it. Um, but we have one more little quick tip before I leave, and that is if you go up here right next to the uh, dashboard logo and you right-click, you can increase and decrease your, your uh, GUI scaling. So that's pretty cool. Check that out, huh? Look at that giant envelope. Look at that. It fills the whole screen up. That's pretty cool. Um, and then you can, of course, decrease it, uh, depending on, uh, you know, if I decrease it, keep decreasing it, eventually get back to my 1440. That's as low as it goes. And that's the 1440 right there. Pretty cool stuff. There it is. That's my rant. Are they going to finish this damn envelope? Because I really like the four-stage envelope. I think it's very, it's, uh, the potential on this thing is, uh, is exciting because this is really represents in a way how I like to modulate things. I like to put things in loops and uh, so the four stage envelopes extremely exciting but like I say I don't think it's finished yet. Anyway chill computer guy hope you enjoyed that and we'll have more uh, modulators coming up so please subscribe and you'll get more of my modulator uh, tutorials coming up in the future. Thanks again.